South Jersey, a tragic scene unfolding in Gloucester County where we're told two people are dead. This is the 10 o'clock news. I'm Jason Martinez. And I'm Sheba Russell. It has been a tough, emotional night for family and friends as they arrived at an apartment complex in Clayton. Domestic violence, murder, suicide never, ever makes sense. Nina Sinclair Green, age 43, gunned down May 7th, 2024 in Clayton, New Jersey by her boyfriend, age 45. God bless the family and friends. Damn. South Jersey, a tragic scene unfolding in Gloucester County where we're told two people are dead. This is the 10 o'clock news. I'm Jason Martinez. And I'm Sheba Russell. It has been a tough, emotional night for family and friends as they arrived at an apartment complex in Clayton. Steve Keeley is live for us in Clayton, New Jersey tonight. And Steve, you spoke with the family. What are you learning? Uh, I talked to this victim's 20-year-old son. He's one of five children, and I just spoke to her mother. And this victim was an only child, and her mother, just a beautiful woman in herself, and she said and confirmed what the son had told me, that her daughter had been fighting lymphoma, had beaten cancer after a 10-year struggle, just was diagnosed with lupus, was here at her boyfriend's house, and his family is also here in Clayton, which is right down North Broad Street, where you see still a heavy police presence and a lot of family and friends from both of these people. And so... The son, Damien Green, who's 20 years old, was on the phone with his girlfriend. So the niece of the victim, another adult woman, and two children were with this victim when she came to retrieve a lot of her belongings when the witnesses told us that he shot her twice, then shot at them as they got into her car, and then they saw him shoot himself. Here is some of what Damien told me. My mom's not here no more, and that's the only person I ever had. And I want everybody to feel my pain and understand that this is this is real. This is real life. It's not a game. And so he is heart sick because he mom said to him, even though she just beat cancer, she and then found out she had lupus, she thought she was going to die. And he's like, don't say that, mom. And then he gets this news over the telephone as this is just breaking, and they're calling him saying, get over here. Your mother's just been shot. And I told him to go find some police. He found me first, asking me what I knew. And then as I just went down the street just before airtime, um, the victim's mother came up and hugged me. And she said, it's so bad to meet you at the scene of my daughter's murder, my only child, who was just a beautiful young woman, even though uh, this victim just in the 40s. And then I talked to a uh, well-known law enforcement source down here with the Gloucester County Prosecutor's Office who confirmed that this was a murder side suicide. And uh, they always say no danger to the public, but there's a gun on scene and there's two victims on scene and a lot of people who knew both of them still on the scene. So this will be a heavy police presence for quite a while into the early morning hours tonight as they all continue this investigation. But just sad from both families' aspects. The people that knew the man didn't want to believe it, couldn't believe it had happened when they were hearing the news as they race down here too. So Jason Sheba, just awful news here in the heart of Gloucester County. We've got Glassboro Police helping out Monroe Township Police and of course the Clayton Police and Gloucester County Prosecutor's Office all teaming up to keep this scene peaceful and uh, get this investigation going. Such a large police presence there and so many family members grieving tonight. Just Stop domestic violence. Why? It's never ever right. It's wrong. A crucial reminder here, help is available. If you or anyone you know is a victim of domestic violence, you can call the phone number there on your screen or simply text the word START to 88788. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.